Hi, my name is uh, Ashok Krish. I, I head the TCS uh, Web 2.0 Innovation Lab. Uh, TCS is Tata Consultancy Services, one of the largest uh, IT companies in the world. Um, for me, the three important things to remember about social media or the internet in India. Um, number one is, is the fact that uh, India is extremely diverse. Uh, there is a tendency uh, in the West to look at India as one homogenous whole, um, that it's about Bollywood or it's about a, f a few things that sort of represent India, but India frankly is a pretty uh, is a lot like the European Union uh, there's 23 different official languages you know, many of them have 70 to 80 million speakers and there is there is just so much cultural diversity in India that you need to look at India practically as multiple different countries if you will when you think about uh, India so that's that's number one um, the second thing to remember about India is that there, there are vast differences uh, between the maturity of technology use uh, when it comes to the uh, sort of uh, elite urban upper middle class uh, to the more small town emerging middle class uh, and to the people who are sort of just above the poverty line. Um, it's estimated that there are close to 800 million mobile, phone, uh, uh, mobile phones in India. Um, and what is interesting is that even fishermen uh, and farmers now are using basic phones and text messaging to actually exchange knowledge and get connected to internet through very, very sort of low-end means. So there's lots of bottom of the pyramid stuff. There is, there is stuff for small towns where kids are using it to you know, do courses online. And there is the, the urban elite, which is no different from you know, uh, how the West is. So I think that's the second important thing. Um, the third thing about um, India is, is, is the fact that there are there is an English-speaking part of India, and then there is a significant number of people who are uh, who converse and who collaborate and who share in local languages. Um, this is not as much as it is in China, uh, where there is clearly I mean, most people would prefer to speak in Chinese. Um, the middle class will generally be sort of fluent in English, um, but if you really look at the, the emerging growth as as it expands all over, I think the the native languages. Uh, is definitely going to play a key role. I think these are the three important key things. Um, so the second uh, point about what the internet has uh, always meant to me, uh, I've, been, um, I've been very passionately digital native for, for a while now, um, is since I started blogging in about 2006. Um, and uh, for me, for someone who has, um, I have a lot of hobbies. I'm a, I'm a violinist, cellist, and a guitarist. Uh, in addition to writing newspaper columns, in addition to my day job. So for me, the internet has been uh, a place for self-expression and uh, a way to improve um, on all, all of my skills, not just technology skills, but I stay up to date. Uh, but I share my music on SoundCloud, you know, I get lots of feedback. I, I, I start internet memes, I get a lot of feedback. I write blog posts, I get feedback. You know, I share my newspaper columns online. Um, and, and I do podcasts as well. So for me, I think uh, the internet has been an unprecedented way for learning and self-expression and that, you know, that complete cycle. So that's what I have to say. Thank you.